Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Last time... Well, last time we did stuff, like got getting Titan, and accidentally bringing the wrong character to a cutscene. Um, although only half wrong character, we had one of the two correct characters, but not the one who I consider to be more relevant to the scene. Uh, I digress. Let's continue on! Oh, I'm a frog again. Well, this looks like a time for... I, you know, I forgot about you. That is gradual petrify, I believe, so I have a number above my head, and if it reaches zero, I will be turned into a statue. Frogs, incidentally, way more annoying when they're with other things. Oh, well, that still works, though. I'm kind of curious if this will kill it. Oh, it actually did! Ah! That one is actually totally inflicted with stop as well. I didn't notice that until I killed it. So anyway, we're oh, hey. Fun fact. In the very first time I played through this game, this area is where I caught- I found Yuffie. Just, you know, throwing that out there. But no, we are going this way. Into the area of twilight. Now, uh, that's a ledge. This place is sort of mazy. It can be- it can be difficult to actually find your way through. Golem. Oh, well, I should use that. Still cool, but not dead. Cool, but not really lethal. Actually, I'm pretty sure um, Frost Slash deals slightly more damage to a single target than Blade Beam. I'm not 100. Oh, hey! And I got Cloud's next limit break. You see, this is sort of what I was saying before. Cloud, Cloud's rate of gaining limit breaks is probably half the speed as other people, but because he's in your party constantly, he get, he still gets them way quicker than anyone else. Um, I'll have to show that off in the next battle. So anyway, there's this place here. And well, we we have broke it. Here's the thing. Now, if you care about Fort Condor a lot, here's the thing: you want to go into this place without trying to drive past it. If you go into here before this breaks down, then it won't break down. And you'll be able to drive back. And this is important because pretty much as soon as I step into here, there will be another possible battle at Fort Condor. Obviously, I don't care. Uh, I'm not backtracking there. But if you want to, you need to not have your car break down because the only way to get back is to cross a river and you need it to do that. Anyway, let's go inside. Welcome. To... Cosmo Canyon. I am home. It is a whole new continent. Okay, in case it isn't clear yet, the reason I'm harping on this is because as seemingly every member of our party is actually from this continent and not the Midgar continent. So it's not really a new continent at all. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess in fairness, Aerith is fr is well, yeah. Er I guess in fairness, Aerith is from Midgar. I mean, she—I don't think she was born in Midgar, but she lived there for pretty much her entire life. So, yeah. Welcome to Cosmo Canyon. Are you familiar with this land? Not really. 
People from all over the world gather here to seek the study of planet life. What? <laughs> well, okay. yep. Full. Nanaki is Nanaki. That is his name. I was tempted to actually just call him Nanaki when we were naming him. But, I mean, he doesn't really care. Clearly. And, more to the point, I didn't want to spoil it, okay? I'm going to have a similar conundrum, although for different reasons, when we're playing Final Fantasy IX. Uh, also, the other thing is, if we had named him Nineke, then it would have been this weird moment where we didn't know that that was his name, either, even though we've been calling him that the entire time. And I don't really like that sort of plot hole that I have self-introduced. Uh, yes. Which, again, like, it would be nice if there was actually, if the game actually accounted for that. Oh, you've named him his name. Therefore, you aren't surprised when you find out his name. It wouldn't be a hard to program that in, but it would be a extra work and it would, would require a fair amount of foresight. That's the real obstacle, I think. The foresight. Now then. I need to actually figure out where everything is. I've always had a hard time of finding things in Cosmo Canyon. Cause like, I I know everything that I want, but but I don't necessarily remember where it is. Ah, uh, sure. Let's spend the night. Okay. Anything in here? Oh, there, there's an elixir on the ground. Cool. I didn't know that was here. I did know this was here, though. Turtle's Paradise, number five. Our cocktails are good, but our wine is the best. Please stop in the Turtle's Paradise. Okay. Okay, then. Cool. Now, I think this is the weapons shop. If I can, there we go. I guess we'll see when we get up there. Uh, this is not the weapon shop. What the hell is this? Oh, okay then. That's what that is. Maybe I cannot go back there, can I? But there's a green arrow! Come on, let me get back there! Okay, I actually do need to find the Weepon Shop. I'm pretty sure it sells stuff that is actually... Unlike Gongaga, this Weepon Shop actually sells some relevant equipment. If I can find it. I mean, this... I thought it was back here. Like... Obviously not, though. You see, this is what I mean. I can't. Re I can. I. This isn't like a recent thing either. I have never been able to find where I. I want to go in Cosmic Canyon. It's just like the weirdest thing. Oh hey, by the way. Can you? No. Okay then. Is there anything up here? I guess we'll look. Absolutely nothing. Oh! Oh! I see in high, in extremely pixelated letters the word shop on there. I don't know if it's armor or item or weapon. I mean, it could be anything. But shop is definitely recognizable. My tribe were, the, were protectors of those who appreciate the beauty of the canyon and the planet. My brave mother fought and died here, but my cowardly father left her. I am the last of my race. A waskly waskle. A 
This was a mission I inherited from my ancestors to protect this place. My journey ends here. Grandpa? Didn't he just say that... We just stayed at the inn, Yuffie. Come on. Probably didn't need to do that, actually. But I did. Uh, is that... I mean, I wasn't trying to talk to you. Whatever. Um... So, new Weebons! These do not have double growth rate. But they do have four slots, and they hit hard. Um... Probably I'm going to use the double growth until the end of... Basically until I leave Cosmo Canyon. Then I'll throw on these. So, with having said that, I definitely need one for Cloud. Um, who else am I going to use? Uh, definitely Tifa. I'm going to need one for y Yuffie, because she still doesn't have her freaking limit break. Uh, don't need that. <laughs> I need at least two of these, though. Um... I don't know if I'll need this, so I can wait on it. I can... Dude, can I just afford one of each? I mean, if I want to... Not really, no. I'm gonna buy one more of these. Then I'll save the rest of... Wait. No, I actually do need this because I don't have the... I don't think I have the double growth thing for red. Okay, again, I don't really want to talk to you. But do you sell materia? You do not. Oh. Okay, that happened. Wait, is this it? Aha! Turtle's Paradise, number four. Now hiring. Looking for someone who can stand long hours of boredom. For details, contact the Turtle's Paradise. Okay, so, now I just need to find the Materia shop. I think it's the Materia shop? Wait. Maybe there isn't a Materia shop. Maybe I'm getting mixed up here. Whatever. Let's just, uh, oh? What is around here? I, I don't, I, I don't see anything. Okay, I really actually wish this game had, like, a sparkle or something to tell you when there's a hidden item. Like, it needs something to make it clear where an item can be. Like, it doesn't even necessarily need to tell you an item is there. But it should, it should at least tell you that an item could be there. Otherwise, it just blends in with the background, and you have no idea. <laughs> Basically, I'm saying I wish it was more like Golden Sun. <laughs> um, yeah. With suit what? Hey, what's over here? Ooh, it's a kitchen! But, there's nothing actually in here. Okay, what is in door number two? It's Yuffie. Oh! It's the Materia Shop! I guess there is one, okay. Hey, can I, uh... Okay. No, I actually do want a shop. Okay then. Ooh, shit! I, I've run out of money. Okay, I definitely want one of each of these, so I'm gonna have to just sell some ethers. A lot of ethers, actually, because shit, man, that sucks. Okay, what else can I sell? I have some. I don't want to sell my old weapons just yet. Because I'm still sort of in an iffy place with the Weebons, because some of them... Some of them are powerful, some of them double growth, some of them are... Basically, I, what I'm saying is, I don't have a clearly 100% superior weapon yet. So I don't want to sell my Weebons until that is the case. Uh, anyway, I want one of those and one of those. And now I'm broke. 
Just when I thought we were finally done with the money problems. Wait, no, I want to go this way. There, There's nothing up here, is there? Nope. Well, okay then. Up the ladder we go! Uh... Hmm... The other thing... I feel if you're gonna bother putting in the pathing to actually reach over here, you should actually put something over here, you know? Like, not nothing important, but like an either or something. But that's to... That's more of a, uh... That's more of a level design issue. I guess. Whereas the previous complaint was more of a... Well, frankly, that things just blend in too easily with the background in this game. Okay, I really want to know how the hell he actually got up here. Because we had to climb a ladder. Can he climb ladders? I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. But... That cannot be easy. For him, either. I'm not really built for it. Yep, you could say that. 48. <laughs> oh, that's actually great. Red is literally the oldest character in our party. But... <laughs> Maturity-wise... Maturity-wise, he's more... I mean, he's definitely more mature than Yuffie, but... Probably less so than... Uh, Barrett or Aerith? I'd say it's about par, par on course with Cloud, though. Oh? Hmm. So there's something about this guy that, uh, that has always sort of confused me. He seems to be human, and he's clearly not red species, but he doesn't have legs, he just sort of floats there. Also, he's freaking ancient. Like... There's just something really weird going on with him, you know? And, it, and I don't think it's ever really explained. Also, what? Ooh, that doesn't sound good. The sounds of the stars in the heavens. While this goes on, planets are born and die. Oh. Apparatus, you say? Hmm? Yep, I think that's us. <laughs> yeah, Yuffie's probably ca causing trouble. Call one of them? Ugh. I should have taken off my materia before I came in here. I mean, I had it in the back of my head to do so, but I didn't actually bother doing it. Well, I know where Yuffie is, and I don't feel like tracking everyone else down, so she's not in here. She's in the- Oh, hey, it's Kate Seed. I'm not gonna even risk talking to him. He might actually try to come along. Screw that! Oh. Aha! Uh, now just in case, we are going to take that stuff off. Also, let's throw... you don't get it, but I'm taking the bolt ring. Um, let's see... Yeah, I'm fine if you have the shooter better. Yeah, okay, we'll stick with like this 
for now until we're in an area where we, at, we, where we actually need to fight something. Although, you know, I feel like I should probably take Aerith for this. Like, Aerith and Barret seem more appropriate. But... These are the par party members who I actually am going to use in battle. So... I... I seem to have been shifting through the floor a little bit. Interesting. I guess it's supposed to be the solar system? It's kind of weird that... Um... I'm gonna go on a, on a limb here and say not to scale. So, our planet is the blue one with the moon, right near the middle. Oh hey, it even has a black hole. Well, okay then. Let us. Eventually, all humans die. What happens to them after they're dead? The body decomposes and returns to the planet. But what about the consciousness, the heart, and the soul? The soul also returns. Not only those of humans, but every living thing. Everything in the universe is pretty much the same. As far as we know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Spirit energy is a word you should never forget. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that one. Okay, so it has random trees on it. Also, there's a guy there, and I think he just died. Uh, oh, the trees also died. They have become one with the planet. And turned green. And then a new person was born. And on and on and on. That's interesting. If it were to disappear... Like so... The planet would wither and die. This... This is what macro energy does to a planet. Mm -mm. Yes, he is. Mm. Well. In the short term, the planet can probably recover from it. Like, the air around Midgar might be fucked for the next hun few hundred years. But the unstated... My... Or the... The thing that's unstated here, but is sort of my assumption, is that the planet can slowly regenerate its own energy. Because... Like... I don't think it's a 
fixed amount, right? I get the impression that it can go leave and come to the planet over time. Albeit very slowly. I see. Well, after that, after that lesson, yeah, I'm pretty sure Barrett has special dialogue in this scene, actually. I advise you to take him to Gosnell Cannon like I did not. Um, but we're, we're gonna stop off here. So join me next time when we continue exploring Cosmo Canyon. Until then, this has been Cancel Balloon. Have a great day. Bye!